I'm here among the squash, and this yellow beauty is a mildly flavored spaghetti squash that has lots of vitamins A, C, and fiber. Now I chose this spaghetti squash today because it's very special for diabetics and those who need low carbohydrate diets. When cooked, the flesh inside separates into spaghetti-like strands. Now one cup of this spaghetti provides 10 carbohydrates versus one cup of regular cooked pasta that provides around 43. Let's go into my kitchen and I'll show you. We are here in the kitchen to show you how to prepare a variety of healthy vegetables from garden to plate. With very little time, you too can learn to prepare delicious and healthy foods. Now today we'll be preparing spaghetti squash. It's like regular spaghetti, but minus most of the carbohydrates. So if you're diabetic, this one's for you. A cup of regular spaghetti contains 45 carbohydrates, while a cup of spaghetti squash contains only about eight and two fibers. Now before we do any preparation, you'll want to turn your oven on to about 350 degrees. And for this recipe, you'll only need two ingredients, your spaghetti squash and a jar of your favorite sauce, which could be homemade or store-bought. Now the next thing you'll need to do is to take your spaghetti squash and slice it in half. Easier said than done because sometimes the rind is so hard. If this is the case, then simply pierce the squash, place it in your baking dish with about an inch of water, and bake it for 30 to 40 minutes or until that rind becomes soft. Now once it's off, you'll remove it from the oven and it should look similar to this. Now from there, you simply take a fork and pull back. And as you can see, pieces of spaghetti begin to appear. Then place this in a bowl just like you would your regular spaghetti and add your favorite sauce. And just like that, you have a simple and healthy alternative to spaghetti with almost zero carbs. 